Hello, and thank you very much. I'm pleased to be here with you today, if only virtually. My name is Bob Markham, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the Loan Programs Office at the U.S. Department of Energy. I appreciate your interest in our program and look forward to providing you with an overview of the loan guarantees that LPO can offer to companies interested to invest in energy and infrastructure projects in the United States. In this session, I'll provide an overview of LPO's loan guarantee programs with a focus on the Title 17 Loan Guarantee Program. The Department of Energy's Loan Programs Office was effectively established under the Energy Policy Act of 2005, which was passed by Congress and signed into law by then President George W. Bush. The program has been in existence for about 15 years, which makes us one of the newer lending programs in the US federal government. We currently have over $40 billion in loan authority remaining. Our value proposition includes the following. First, access to debt capital. We focus on innovative technology and provide debt capital to projects that may not otherwise be able to obtain commercial loans due to technology risks. Flexible financing. This includes long loan tenors based on the useful life of the project and low interest rates based on the U.S. Treasury lending rate. And we're a committed partner. We seek to become involved in the early stages and work with you to structure financing that meets your project's needs, and our involvement continues through to funding and loan repayment. Let's take a moment to look at what LPO has achieved so far. The current loan portfolio includes $35 billion in financing for over $50 billion of projects. LPO has provided $12 billion in debt financing to support the only nuclear power plant currently under construction in the United States, the Vogel Project. $2 billion committed, but not finalized yet, to support a pet coke to methanol project in Lake Charles, Louisiana, which also captures and sequesters carbon dioxide. $1.7 billion towards onshore wind power generation, $343 million towards a transmission line, $7.8 billion to support automotive fleet modernization and electric vehicle manufacturing, including the first debt financing to Tesla. $5.8 billion to concentrating solar power plants, $546 million to advanced geothermal energy, and $4.7 billion towards photovoltaic solar power generation, including the first five utility-scale solar PV plants in the United States. And now, let's move on to an overview of our loan programs. The over $40 billion in remaining loan authority is allocated across the three loan programs that comprise the Loan Programs Office. The Title 17 program, which refers to Title 17 of the Energy Policy Act, focuses on innovative energy projects, which also have environmental benefits. The loan authority in this program is further subdivided into three categories, $8.5 billion for advanced fossil energy projects, $10.9 billion for advanced nuclear energy, and $4.5 billion for renewable energy and efficient energy projects. The Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Program has $17.7 .7 billion in loan authority to support electric vehicles, fleet modernization, and component manufacturing, including automotive batteries and lightweight automotive components. The third loan program, the Tribal Energy Loan Guarantee Program does not have the innovation or greenhouse gas requirements, but has $2 billion dedicated to support energy projects which have majority ownership by U.S. Native American tribes. I would now like to focus on the Title 17 Loan Guarantee Program. First of all, all of the three subcategories have similar requirements. The first is innovative technology. The project must deploy innovative technology at a commercial scale. The entire project does not have to be innovative, but a component of the technology or process must be innovative and not yet widely commercially deployed. The project must also reduce, sequester, or avoid greenhouse gas emissions, or in some cases, air pollutants. The project must be located within the United States, but a project can include foreign ownership, in the current portfolio, there is ownership of projects by entities from Korea, Spain, Israel, Canada, and others. A project also 
may utilize foreign technology. However, it must be physically located in the United States. Financially, the projects must generate sufficient and reliable revenues to demonstrate a reasonable prospect of repayment of the debt. Advanced resource development. This includes the pet coke to methanol project that I previously mentioned, as well as other potential projects, including an ethylene cracker and natural gas to liquids projects. Carbon capture, either for sequestration or enhanced oil field recovery, and efficiency improvements and low carbon power systems. In the advanced nuclear category, the requirements are similar and we are currently targeting advanced nuclear reactors, front end, small modular reactors, and upgrades to existing facilities. In renewable energy and efficient energy, we are targeting grid integration and energy storage, infrastructure for alternative vehicles, including hydrogen fueling, distributed energy projects, offshore wind, power generation, and waste energy projects. In terms of financing, this is what LPO offers. Loan guarantees funded by the U.S. Treasury's Federal Financing Bank and guaranteed by DOE are partial guarantees of commercial bank loans, either at fixed or floating rates. The pricing is based on comparable U.S. Treasury yields, and the tenor can be up to 90% of our project's useful life. Loan structures include corporate or project financing. DOE can be the sole lender or participate in a group with commercial banks, export credit agencies, or capital market products such as bonds. Depending on the circumstances, the debt amount can be up to 80% of project costs. Lastly, all of this is subject to standard underwriting review, including financial viability and subsequent due diligence. The LPO transaction process for the Title 17 loan program is very similar to a commercial bank process with a few key enhancements. We are available for pre-application consultations on a no-cost basis. As an example, if a developer is seeking to scale up a technology from a pilot plant to a commercial plant, we may work with them for months or years to advise on a potential loan application. However, and I want to emphasize, if our project is ready, we can skip this and move directly into application. The Title 17 application process has two parts. In part one, we conduct a brief review to determine whether the project meets our eligibility requirements for innovation and environmental benefits as well as the others I previously described. Part two is the formal full application, which kicks off due diligence and term sheet negotiation. When this is concluded, we have a credit approval process that includes consultations with other government agencies, including the US Treasury. After approval, we move into final documentation, closing, funding, and then ongoing monitoring by our portfolio management team. Thank you very much for your interest in the U.S. Department of Energy's Loan Programs Office. We look forward to working with you to support the success of your U.S. energy and infrastructure projects.